It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion. This is for Wednesday, the 7th of February. I'm Michael Groff. Unsettled weather will continue through the rest of the week and heading into the weekend with more opportunities for precipitation. And while we don't anticipate widespread heavy rain, locally heavy downpours could still take place along with some isolated to widely scattered thunderstorms, especially this afternoon. We'll keep an eye on that. Temperatures to remain below average, but by late in the weekend and next week, a bit of a warming trend. Conditions should dry out somewhat, but way out there toward the middle and latter part of next week, there is some degree of forecast uncertainty. Of course there is, and obviously we're going to talk about it. So let's dive on in. First, the almanac from yesterday, 66 degrees, that high temperature, 50 the low. 70 and 48 are the averages for this time of year. 22 hundredths of an inch of rain in the bucket yesterday. We have had a bit more than that since midnight. Taking a look outside right now, 8.50 a.m., scattered clouds around. We're sitting at 49 degrees at Sky Harbor, 2.45, 86% the humidity. The winds are light, and the barometer 29.84 inches and steady. Checking out rainfall totals. These go back through 5 a.m. yesterday morning, so the last, uh, what would that be, almost uh, 29 hours. And... Across most of the metro area and the surrounding areas, anywhere from about one quarter to one half inch, a little bit more than that. Parts of Scottsdale, two thirds of an inch. And uh, over to the east there, Horse Mesa Dam, that's uh, over an inch, inch and a half of rain. Uh, But for the most part around Phoenix, yeah, about one quarter to one half inch. Um, I know some of you are disappointed by these numbers. We'll see a bit more rain this afternoon, but again, it will be scattered. And as we mentioned on yesterday's video, rainfall totals are going to be very mixed some of you will see not much some of you will see a pretty decent amount and a lot of in between and that's uh, you know we say that in the summer a lot but uh, it's not as common in winter storms but of course it does happen in these types of setups unfortunately uh, looking further to the north the rainfall totals were a bit better across northern maricopa parts of southern southeast yavapai and uh, western southwest gila counties uh, seven springs wash over an inch of rain uh, over there towards Sunflower, over an inch of rain, and up about up there by Payson, uh, over an inch of rain. And on this graphic across northern, northeast Maricopa, southern uh, Yavapai, southwest, western Gila County, rain totals were generally in the one half to an inch to an inch and a quarter range. All right, let's take a look at that uh, upper air weather pattern across the nation. This obviously will tell you the story of what's going on. Still an omega block in effect with troughing off the east coast, a ridge for the plains. And a trough out here in the west and we will see multiple short waves rounding through this trough over the next few days and those will give us opportunities for precipitation again not necessarily um a deluge not necessarily you know widespread heavy rain but we will see a pretty good chance of rain in here especially for tomorrow here's that watch warning map we've got dense fog advisories parts of the northern plain states and winter weather advisories creeping in up there as well as uh, course obviously across the intermountain west plenty of winter weather advisories and we've got some winter storm warnings and winter weather advisories for northern arizona and the flood watch that was in effect around here uh, that has been canceled by the national weather service now there could still be some local flooding no doubt about that Um, obviously if we get some isolated thunderstorms put down heavy rain a local area obviously the the roads around phoenix anybody that drives here you know a half inch of rain, three quarters of an inch of rain in, in a half an hour, that'll, that'll flood the streets. But widespread flooding is not anticipated. Convective outlook for today, no organized areas of severe weather. But again, thunder is possible around here, and the strongest storms could put down some gusty winds and small hail. Here's that precipitation outlook. This is valid through Wednesday morning of next week. Rain amounts in Phoenix, one quarter to one half inch expected. Of course, there could still be a little bit more than that in the higher terrain, and your amount will vary. So let's get into the details of this situation right now. To do that, we'll check out the models and see what they have to say. Here we go, the GFS, the 06Z run valid at 2 o'clock this afternoon. We continue with troughing out here across the western states, multiple short waves still rotating through that, and uh, the deeper moisture has now moved off to the east, but what it means for us down at the surface for the rest of the day today, uh, we'll still call it uh, partly sunny with... A chance at showers and isolated thunderstorms, especially this afternoon. High temperatures today will climb to the upper 50s and low 60s. So still around uh, 10 degrees below average, give or take. For tonight, chance at an evening shower or thunderstorm. Overnight lows 
uh, mostly in the 40s. And then tomorrow looks like a pretty wet day shaping up, especially uh, I'd say once we get uh, into the mid morning hours and beyond, we'll see some showers again off and on. It's not going to rain all day, but uh, we've got that rain chance up in the 80 percent bracket and probably a tenth to a quarter of an inch with this tomorrow. Uh, nothing overly heavy, but an isolated thunderstorm again couldn't be completely ruled out. High temperatures will still be somewhere in the upper 50s to about 60. Let's go to Friday, another short wave coming on through, but this one should just yield a slight chance of a shower in the afternoon, and that'll continue into Friday night. Saturday, we'll still see some scattered showers around. Again, nothing overly heavy, but uh, if you do have outdoor activities planned, might want to bring that umbrella just in case. And high temperatures will continue to be below normal here. We're going to stay somewhere anywhere from the upper 50s to low middle 60s through this period. Sunday will start to dry out, though. Looks like mostly sunny sky returns as the trough finally moves off to the east. No more short waves in the flow. So high temperatures will climb back up a few degrees. And we'll see that continued warming trend getting uh, back into the upper 60s or so uh, as we get toward uh, Monday of next week. And then Tuesday, again, highs uh, right around 70. The sky sunny to mostly sunny. Then as we go to a week from today, this is Wednesday the 14th, and we've got kind of broad troughing uh, beginning to uh, develop uh, across uh, not only the Pacific Northwest, but just off the West Coast, off of Baja there, kind of baggy troughing there. And um, there's considerable uncertainty as to how all of this will play out. But at this point, it looks like we're going to be dry uh, through Wednesday of next week. High temperatures will continue to moderate a bit back toward the low 70s if this works out as we take a look out 10 days this is friday the 16th and, and the gfs shows a low developing to the south of us probably too far south of us to give us any precipitation if this is right but uh, you know the, the gfs developing these kind of closed low systems over mexico or the greater southwest you know these are Interesting scenarios, but they never seem to play out exactly as advertised. So needless to say, we'll keep an eye on model trends to see if anything does develop that could give us some unsettled weather out here toward the end of next week, which is certainly a possibility, especially uh, if some of our guidance is to be believed. But um, that's out there toward fantasy land. We have a long time to watch that. All right. Rainfall for Phoenix off the GFS ensemble. Of course, the mean is still pretty high. So up there closing in on two inches. Uh, so obviously our ensemble guidance still believes that unsettled weather will be the, the more likely outcome through much of the period, although we should see a lull in activity uh, for a while uh, late in the weekend and through at least the middle part of next week and then maybe getting more active again out there toward the following weekend and beyond. And temperatures off the national blend of models stay below average for the rest of the week into Saturday, but then warming up. And by next week, we're back up in the 70s, it looks like. And we could see a pretty chilly morning, um, Saturday night, Sunday morning, Sunday night, Monday morning. And there is a possibility of a freeze for the outlying valley areas, uh, some frost if you're away from the urban core. That is, there's a chance of that. And again, we're going to keep you up to date on that as we get closer and uh, things become a little bit more clear. But with drier air working in behind all of this moisture uh, late in the weekend, uh, definitely cooler nights are in store, at least briefly. And that'll do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video is back here tomorrow morning. Should you happen to enjoy these videos, then be sure to subscribe, like, share, click that notification bell, leave those comments, questions, and suggestions, and if you really like what we do here, you want to support us monetarily, then do click on that thanks icon below the video. Make those contributions to us, $2, $5, $500. All of it helps in the furtherance of this channel. And there was a donation yesterday. Look, every single donation that you guys give, I, I am so grateful and so appreciative, and I can't thank you guys enough. It uh, really, really helps us out here. All right, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I would be remiss, of course, if I didn't mention that the executive producer of the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion is my one and only, the sweetest of all time, the Asian sensation, the proprietor of SweetChildAZ.com.org and the Facebook page of the same name, uh, Sweet Child Arizona. I'm talking about my Michelle. Check her out. Check out her videos that are posted down there below 
uh, below here. I've got them linked up in the description. And, of course, I invite you to check out my streaming station, our streaming station. It is called KMGX. We play a ton of music. We have a lot of fun with that. And so, I, um, again, I have that linked up down below. I haven't had coffee. Um, again, that's, that's my problem. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I do these videos without coffee. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. All of your continued support so greatly appreciated. Please be safe and enjoy the rain where you can find it. Have yourselves a beautiful rest of your Wednesday.